we're back with looking at awesome paintings of dead people. <laughs> so, uh, we read this one in the last video, so let's keep exactly. going. Or it'll the just go on without me. Used by the alchemists That's fine. The last century. Yes. This new power must be related to the transformation of material. Is it possible that this is the great work? The Philosopher's Stone? Yeah, because she kind of looks like um, Professor McGonagall. <laughs> Let's search for a place where we can use it without delay. All right. She actually does kind of look like uh, Professor McGonagall. Materialization. Uh, gives you the power to materialize a figurative representation. So, no, I'm good. I know where to use it. We're going to probably use it on that key. So we have, let's use it on the key. Yeah. Well, here's an answer to our question. The fourth jewel of the locket allows us figurative transformation. Mm -hmm. Henry, your ancestors were full of resources. <laughs> and magical abilities. I don't think they were the source of this medallion my uncle would have known. In addition, we didn't find any research notes on this subject. In my opinion, they only looked for the missing parts. They thought that once they had completed the medallion, it would rid them of the beast. None succeeded. Mm. Where does the medallion come from, then? Yeah. We shall end up discovering, I'm sure. Alright, so let's take the key. So, Henry's room. So this is... this was supposed to be our room. Henry, you told us that your uncle had prepared this room for you. He hoped for your visit? Yep. I had indeed planned to come see him, but we had not fixed the date. My business in Canada leaves me little free time. Yeah, Canada! Do you know who lived in this room before Sir Charles prepared it? I believe that this room was occupied for quite some time. Nobody lived here. Hmm. Oh, there's the other paper. Another coat of arms. Well, this must be his? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a... What's this one? For... Opening mechanism... Serialization? No. Strength. Or speed. No. Okay, we don't have that ability yet. Another part of the coat of arms. A little cube. Mask. Out of reach. Oh, I guess the next one is going to be like uh, the floating ability. A pentagram. It seems to lack pieces that should fit into it. Okay. So we need to find pieces of pentagram. Too far. And hidden object, obviously. And a chessboard. Okay, so let's do hidden object. Oh, chess pieces. Okay. Look for all the chess pieces. What to do? I played. Oh, that's not a piece. I played chess a couple of times. Is that it? Yep, that's it. All right, found chess piece. Oh. Oh, it's a chess puzzle. Yay! Move all the piece, the chess pieces, to the marked places. Use the arrows to move the row or column. Oh, okay, so I need to get it into here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a little... Ah! Okay, got it. Done. <laughs> oh dear, and it gets more complicated. Um, so those two are already in one. So... Uh-oh. Yeah, I figured. Um, or oh, hold on, let's try this. No. Okay. No.
No, that will still give me the same. Um, hmm. Look, I need to create a little space to start over. Um. Ah. Ah, there we go. Oh, okay. So I need to get them to the opposite positions. But I can't just click. I could probably just do this. And then... Move... To go... No. Hmm. Let's do this again. Yeah, I know. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, this one's a little more difficult. Um, oh, I think I got it. Okay, I think I got it. Move it down, move it over. No, that wasn't right. Move back up. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, back up and over. There we go. I got it. Okay. That wasn't as hard. Just took a little while. Hmm. Awesome. We got the last one. So let's leave to go here. Put this here, here. All right. So easy enough. It's you divide the symbol in half, and it becomes a number. So this one is five. This one is a one. This one's two, four, and uh, three. Sorry, I was going to say eight. There we go. I've seen this puzzle before, so that's why I was like, boom. Another room. The room of Edward, the famous navigator of the family, and the first victim of the curse. Well, wow, it's getting really dark in here. I might have to turn the light on. Give me a minute. I'm just gonna go turn on the light. Quick. There we go. All right, back to the game. It's nighttime and it's like pitch black in my room. Uh. You told us that he was Hugo's brother. Was he living at the manor during the delinquency of his diabolic brother? No, Edward was a teenager when he left for the Royal Navy. The training of a sailor begins very early. In the Navy. <laughs> Speaking of Hugo, what do you know about him? Yeah. Just what I was told, he was a base and diabolical being. He terrorized the family. He did not care for Oliver, his younger brother. I shouldn't be surprised if Hugo were responsible for Oliver's disappearance. In spite of his detestable character, Hugo found a delightful woman. Hugo was madly in love with her, but she couldn't return his love. Uh. Their union did not last. Growing jealousy and schizophrenia drove Hugo out of his mind. 
He killed his wife in so vile a manner. This dreadful murder is said to be the origin of the curse. I don't know any more about it. Huh. Do you think that his wife was some kind of witch? Could she have cursed your family before dying? Mm. No, Hugo was the only Baskerville said to practice the dark arts. Nobody else. Ah, see, now you didn't tell us that part. Interesting. It is possible that the locket belonged to Hugo. For now, let us search this place. Perhaps we shall find clues to help us in our inquiry. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, here's a cube. Yeah, so it was pretty dark. Punch it. In my room, so that's why I had to... There's the other cube. Had to, uh... Turn the lights on. Or turn a light on. Oh, second... No. Fish. Dark place. Ah. Okay. We got another cube. To start another puzzle. Okay, what do we have to do with this one? To open the chest, move the dice to the green squares. Each die has to reach the green square in the number of moves stated on its top side. Dice can be push can push each other. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's easy. It can go in there. But for this, one, two, three. And, oh well. Okay, let's try that. One. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, okay, it's gonna keep doing the puzzle. Um, so it can move. One, two, one. Um. trying to think this one through. Because that one can easily go into one. One, two, yeah, no. Or one, two. Well, actually, but I don't know about these. Hmm. Two, three, four. Maybe. Or, yeah, I can go here too. Three, four. And one, two, three. Oh, yeah, that one makes more sense. Then this one would be like one, two, three, four. And push it up. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two. Uh, okay, yeah, see, now one will only do so much. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, reset. Um,. Okay, so the video's not going to be over in a few minutes, or seconds. So, I'm um, going to keep going with this in the next video. So, I uh, hope you guys stay tuned. Uh, so, this is Puzzle Pieces, signing off. Trying to sign off.